Samson captive in Israel But moans and lonely eggs Until the Son of God appear Rejoice, rejoice Emmanuel Shall come to thee, O Israel Spring, come and cheer our spirits by thy advent and drive away the shades of night and pierce the clouds and bring us light. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee. and defend. Let us all rejoice in the Lord, for our Savior has been born in the world. Today, true peace has come down to us from heaven. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this night is truly blessed. Blessed because this is the night in which the Savior came down to the manger in order to save us. This is the night that became radiant with the splendor of the true light of salvation. This is the night in which the voices of the angels resounded the horizons. This is the night the shepherds got the good news, the good news of salvation from the angel. This good news has come to us today, to every one of us. Let's open our hearts to the Lord in order to experience salvation and confess together, acknowledging that we are unworthy. And yet, the Savior makes us worthy to experience the salvation that he brings to us. Let us confess together. I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me, me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
to garden the higher and on a peace to people of good will glory to God and the higher and on a peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king O oh god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world receive receive your you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you seated at the right hand of the father and mercy on earth for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have taught this most sacred night, radiant with the splendor of the true light, Grant, we pray, that we who have known the mysteries of His light on earth may also delight in His glorious gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A son is given to us. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 2 to 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as they are glad when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden and the staff for his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of the tramping warrior in a battle tumult and every garment rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of His government and of peace there will be no end. On the throne of David and over His kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Unto us is born this day a Savior who is Christ the Lord? Unto us is born this 
song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord, bless His name. Unto us is born this day a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Proclaim His salvation day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Unto us is born this day a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it Thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. Unto us is born this day a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Then will all the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice. He will govern the peoples with his truth. Unto us is born a Savior. Unto him is born this day a Savior. Who is Christ the Lord? The grace of God has appeared for all people. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus, chapter 2, verses 11 to 14. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in the present age, waiting for our blessed hope the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I bring you good news of great joy, for unto us is born this day a Saviour, Christ the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Our 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, you o Lord. Lord. Chapter 2, verses 1 to 14. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, Christ was born in the world as a rejected child. When he was conceived in the womb of his mother, Joseph chosen to be his foster father, wanted to abandon him and his mother. Mother Mary, when she conceived him in her womb, was deeply troubled, as the gospel tells us. And every door in Bethlehem was closed against him. There was no room for them in the inn. He did not have even a bed to be born into. And when he was born, the king Herod wanted to kill him. Christ was truly born into the world as a rejected child. And yet, Mother Mary spread for him the swaddling clothes to warm him in that cold night in the manger. That's when the good news came to the shepherds from the angel, a savior is born for you in the city of David. Good news for the whole world. And this is the good news for us. Today, on this day of Christmas, we may not have a saintly heart in peace to welcome the Savior into. We are troubled. We are tormented. We are living with our problems. Sins and problems of life, of the family, could be disturbing us. That is the heart we have 
to offer to Jesus, the Savior to be born. Indeed, that is the heart the Savior needs to be born into. As Mother Mary spread the torn clothes for Jesus to be born, we will spread before him everything disturbing our hearts, every problem in our family, all that is sinful for him to be born into. And we will hear the good news of salvation. To you is born the Savior in the city of David. When that birth took place, the angels flew down, singing, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to people of good will. The two worlds, the world of heaven and the world of earth, are united by the presence of the angels singing together. That's exactly what God is going to do for us. The Savior is going to do for us to usher in the kingdom into our hearts, into our families. Today, we want to go to Him with everything disturbing, everything troubling our hearts, because however bad our life is, whatever bad news we are living out, the good news will come. The good news is the Savior, and He will turn everything to our good. We will hear the angels singing, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to people of goodwill. The peace that the Savior brings to us, the glory that the Savior brings to us, the salvation that is given to us as our right. Let us open our hearts to Him and wait. Wait for the experience of salvation. Everything bad will be turned to good news. Everything sad will be turned to rejoicing. Everything disturbing will experience the peace of the Lord. That's the peace that we are waiting for from the Savior. Let us, let us be true to God and offer to Him everything sad, everything sick, everything tormenting and troubling our lives. That's where Jesus will be born today and become our Savior, our peace on this earth. Amen. faith in the love of God who sent his son to the world to make sure that we do not perish. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. You are 
of coldness chosen, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, we belong to you. You have called us chosen, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, we belong to you. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept this sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good and the good, good of all his holy church. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray that through this most holy exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ in whom our nature is united to you who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in, in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of all, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, 
and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Sebastian and Bosco, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the confidence of the children, in the love of our Heavenly Father, let's all pray to Him in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be always with you and, and with your spirit so for each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Lord, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart i embrace you as you are already there in my heart I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O little town of Bethlehem, how sweet we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by yet in thy dark street shining the everlasting light the hopes and fears of the word became flesh and we have seen his glory let us pray grant us we pray o lord our god that we who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our redeemer's nativity may through an honorable way of life become worthy of union with him who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. 
Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And friends from Divine, we wish all of you a very happy, blessed Christmas. Years ago, history did have a story to tell. I'm not don't believe. Oh, 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 oh. Two thousand years ago, history did have a story to tell. I'm not don't believe. Right in the city of Jerusalem, when Herod did rule the land. Not far away in Bethlehem, born in the manger, my friend. Then came the wise men searching for him with all the gifts in their hand. Low in the manger, the angels sang, glory filled the land. Oh, 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 two thousand years ago, history did have a story to tell, I'm not done the knee. Oh, 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 two thousand years ago, history did have a story to tell. I'm not Domini. Born on this earth to redeem man from all the sin that he's done. Bread of life, the light of this world, Messiah has come. What more sacrifice can one make but die for his fellow one? All this lamb of God did shed is blood for everyone. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Two thousand years ago, history didn't have a story to tell. I'm not Domini. Oh, 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 oh. Two thousand years ago, history didn't have a story to tell. I'm not Domini. I'm not Domini.